Hey guys, it's SCG here, and today I'll be showing you how to get any villager you want in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Now first off, I just want to disprove a few myths that have been going around regarding getting rid of some of your villagers. Uh, first myth is, if you talk to Isabel about inappropriate behavior the villagers are displaying, uh, she will not kick them out, no matter how many times you tell her about it, the villagers will stay there. Another thing you can try that will not work is hitting your villagers with nets or pushing them around. They may be sad, and they may not want to talk to you, but they will not move off the island, so using these two methods will not work. The only way you can effectively get rid of villagers is by just ignoring them, just running past them if they have something to tell you, ignore them. If they look happy, ignore them. If they look sad, ignore them. Just pretend they don't exist. And then eventually, they might have some text floating above their head like, oh, what should I do? Or, uh, uh, this, is, this is really bothering me, or, or something like that. And you'll ask them, hey, what's going on? And they'll be like, I gotta get out of here. And you'll be like, great idea, and they'll move out. That is the only way you can convince them. Any other way is not going to work. You just have to ignore them. You have to put up with them for at least a week of them just hanging around. If you want to time travel, you can, and it will uh, speed up the process, but time traveling has to be done effectively for this to work, because if you just time travel ahead a week, then maybe another villager will move out without you wanting them to. Because they don't always need the chat prompt from the main player to move out. Sometimes, if you time travel more than a few weeks, they will move out on their own without your permission, so just be careful if you're going to break the rules and time travel in this game to get rid of any villagers you don't like. So there are two ways of acquiring any villager you want. The first method I'll be showing you involves amiibo cards. Now, these are the amiibo cards that came out with the Happy Home Designer and Amiibo Festival games. They came out a few years ago, and uh, really they weren't that popular. The cards weren't sold that much, so there's still a lot of them online and on eBay. So if you don't have them already, you can just head over to eBay or whatever site you personally use for buying used merchandise, and you can buy some of the cards there for uh, usually a pretty cheap price, sub $10 usually. Now, of course, only the villager cards will work the character cards will not, so Tom Nook is going to have to be set aside here, and I will focus on these two cards right here, these two villager cards. So the first thing we're going to do is, in our Animal Crossing game, we're going to go into the Resident Services Center, and we're going to head to the ABD machine, and then we're going to go down to the Amiibo Camper option, select that, and the game will tell us to scan our Amiibo, and we'll do that like so, just scanning it on the Pro Controller, it's a little bit harder, we have to sort of get it between the joysticks. On the Joy-Cons, they're a lot easier, we just press it on the joystick. But once that's done, our camper will um, show up on our screen and we will ask them to stay at our campground. Once that is done, we will head over to the campsite and into their tent where we can talk to them. One of the first things they should say to us is how they really want a souvenir from our island, and uh, they will give us a recipe if we don't have a recipe for the item they want already, and it'll be our job to craft them this item and to bring it to them. Once we've done that once, then we can chat with them, and they will say something along the lines of, wow, this island is, is really great, I want to move here. And then you'll say, oh, well, <laughs> why not? And they're going to be like, well, <laughs> It's good, but it's not that good. And then they'll leave, and you'll have to scan them in again the next day, repeat the process, and then on the third day, once again, repeat the process, and then finally, when you chat to them, they will be coerced into moving into your town. Now, if you have less than 10 spots filled, then this isn't a problem. They'll just move right in. But if you are full of villagers on your island, then you are going to need to boot one of the other ones out. So this is actually a good opportunity to kick one of the villagers out that you don't want for whatever reason. If you have a villager that maybe is annoying you, then this is a great way to uh, evict them from your island. So your amiibo camper villager will say something along the lines of, I heard one of the villagers wants to move out, can you tell me which one specifically? And it'll give you an on-screen prompt of all the villagers in your town, and you can choose which one you want to move off the island. Once you choose it, the villager who you wanted to get rid of is actually already in boxes and ready to move out, and then two days from that, your amiibo villager will finally move in. So that process was pretty simple, but it involves buying amiibo cards, and that can take a while. It involves shipping, it involves an actual monetary price, and and the card prices have been going up lately due to the demand from people wanting to obtain their favorite villagers. So, the second method of obtaining villagers is through a site called Nookzon. You can buy all kinds of stuff here, but today we'll mainly be focusing on the villager section. Now, Nookzon is no different from you just going over to your friend's town and asking one of their villagers who is in the process of moving out to move to your island, but Nookzon has the advantage of being a website with thousands of users all trying to sell their villagers away at the same time. So your odds are a lot better of finding the villager you want on Nookzon than just going to one of your friends. Town. Now, first thing to note with this method is you need an empty slot on your island. So if you have 10 villagers on your island, this method will not work. You need to have 9 or below. So if we head over to Nugazon, we can look under any villager we want, and under the specific villager we will see usually quite a few people trying to trade or sell their villager to some willing buyer. Usually they're pretty fair offers. A lot of people want to trade villagers for villagers, so they'll give a list of all the villagers they would want in return for their villager that's moving out, but sometimes 
sometimes people, you know, bells can convince almost anyone. So a lot of people have a bell price as well, or just a bell price, or a Nook Miles ticket, or whatever they want to trade. So then find a offer that looks best for you and add the person on Discord or Nintendo Switch or whatever other contact they provided. And from my experience, the buying process on this site has been pretty streamlined. You uh, discuss a price. Most people are pretty agreeable with the prices you will offer them. And you'll head over to their town, talk to the villager, and the process is the same as in almost any other Animal Crossing game. Just talk to them. They'll be like, oh, I'm moving out. I have nowhere to go. And you'll be like, hey, can you move to my town? I'm like, oh, well, I guess I have nowhere else to go, so I might as well. And then a few days later, they'll show up at your town in boxes and in the process of moving in. So as I said earlier, hitting your villagers with nets and just pushing them around is not going to work. You are going to need to basically just ignore them for a few days and eventually they will ask you to move out and they will. That about does it for this tutorial. If you enjoyed, be sure to like, subscribe, all the usual stuff. If you really like my content, consider supporting me on Patreon. I'll leave a link down below. And if you have any ideas for future videos, also be sure to leave those in the comments down below. It would be much appreciated. Other than that, I've been Steven, your semi-comprehensive guide, and be sure to have a wonderful rest of your day.